today I'm going to talk about Oban, and uh, they actually sent me one tripod and one ball head that I'm going to uh, give you a little bit of a, an overview of. Um, the legs are the Oban CT2491. Um, it's a $300 set of legs. Uh, they, it's carbon fiber, they weigh 3.5 pounds, and will handle uh, just under 40 pounds, 39.6 I think. Um, the minimum height on these uh, goes down to 6 inches, that would be without the center column obviously. Um, and then the maximum is a very impressive 72 inches. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, actually pretty much almost at my height here without the center column up. And then there it is with the center column up, which is probably almost uh, going out of frame for you. It, it gets nice and tall. Um, the, the legs are in four sections with twists. There's nothing um, exceptionally unusual about them. It's just a rubberized twist lock grip and, and four sections. So I'm not going to worry about um, unfolding it and showing you. The, the levers here work exactly the same as a whole bunch of the other manufacturers that we've looked at. If you haven't seen my other videos, um, basically it's, it's, just, it's very standard. You lift this out, you have three different um, angles that it can be set at, um, and, and it's very standard. There is a bubble level in the base of the legs right here um, when it is all folded up. It, it folds down to 23.3 inches, and um, I think I already told you the, the minimum and maximum height. Uh, it is six time carbon fiber legs, so so six ply carbon fiber, very sturdy. Um, the the hardware other than the carbon fiber is a cast aluminum, and um, oh, another very cool feature is the the uh, feet have little retractable spikes, so they're not like super super long industrial heavy duty spikes, but if you need just a little bit of a grip in, in sand or mud or something, um, you can twist the feet and a little spike comes down out of the center of them, which is really cool. The ball head is the BC-139. Um, and I actually apologize, I'm going to just backtrack if I didn't say it, that the legs are $300. The head is $160. Um, it's 1.4 pounds and it will hold 39.6, the same thing, so it's a Basically, it's a 40-pound setup. Um, it is 4.2 inches tall from where it mounts on the base. Uh, it has a friction control knob in here. I'll just to turn that around. So the friction control knob is right there inside the, um, the center piece of the main control knob. Um, you can see actually right here you have a bubble level on the release, the quick release thing. There is also an additional... Whoops, I'm spinning the wrong knob here. There's also an additional bubble level here, so you have two different options up on the ball head uh, for, for quick release uh, bubble levels. Um, the quick release plate, as I've shown you on a couple of others, there's been some sort of a safety mechanism. This doesn't have any kind of safety mechanism. When you loosen your ball head, it's, it's, uh, it, the plate's coming off. So just have to be mindful of that. Um, if you tend to get in a hurry and kind of bumble and fumble and things, um, you may want to look at one of those that does have the safety mechanism built into it. Uh, the Benro has that, the Enduro has that, uh, so does the Acrotec GP with that uh, lever mechanism. Um, I'm a fan of that. I think that you can get very distracted when you're out and about and uh, you're fumbling with a knob, you loosen it all of a sudden. If you've loosened your camera and you don't have good hold of it and you don't have your neck strap on, uh, down it goes. Um, yeah, standard uh, pan pan uh, lock here to, to lock that down. So yeah, very, very standard, good, uh, sturdy, decent setup. Um, so I looked up on B&H, and they have a kit version of this, and something's wrong, because the kit version of it is actually more expensive than the individual components. Um, the, the individual components together would put this at $460, um, but the kit price on there was over $600. So obviously don't buy that as the kit, buy them as the separate components uh, if you look to go on B&H and buy this. Um, yeah, that's basically it, short and sweet. If you are interested in taking a look at this tripod this summer, it will be with me on the Tripod Roadshow. Um, it's basically a $460 setup, so the, the combination is under $500. I think this definitely ranks right in there, really, really solid value at that price point. Um, 
my only reservation at all on the whole thing is the, the lack of a, a safety mechanism there. Um, but I'll have tons of other products to look at at all kinds of different price points. Um, and I have up on my website the, the locations. If you're watching this video at the beginning or at the end of May 2017, we, as of recording this, I still have a few days left of my kickoff contest for my channel. Basically the way the kickoff contest works is you just need to subscribe to my review channel and you need to share out a link and I'll put the link in the description below for the Kickstarter campaign for Breakthrough Photography. And if you share that out and you subscribe, you're entered to win a polarizing filter from Breakthrough, the X4 CPL. It's the best polarizing filter you can get. I've tested a ton of them. Nothing else comes close. Um, they have amazing products on their Kickstarter that you can check out. There's a, the favorite one of mine is the Dark CPL. It's going to be a combination of neutral density filter and a polarizing filter. So uh, landscape photographers are probably all going to be clamoring for that one. Uh, they have drop-in filters now, uh, 100 millimeter and 150. Uh, they have GND filters coming out to the market and I've shot the prototypes of those. They are uh, epic amazingly good um, so yeah please do that and if uh, if you have any questions about this uh, or any other tripod uh, or anything else that you might be interested in seeing a review of please leave a comment below and uh, and I will respond and we will get uh, get it on here if I possibly can thank you very much and have a great day